Hey, what is up guys? The only monster here with another replay. This replay was sent in by Opulent Omega, so thank you my guy for sending this replay in and letting me cast it. So yeah, let's get into the draft. Uh, looks like for the side of the Radiant, I'm not actually sure how they're gonna run it. Uh, before, I used to think uh, Opulent Omega lived going to the jungle, but last cast, uh, he went to the lane, so he surprised me there a little bit. So I'm not actually sure whether he's gonna go into the jungle or whether he's, he's gonna stay in lane. I do think this is gonna be a safe lane to do so, and then uh, this might be a Visage mid. And then uh, Venomancer might be supporting down the bottom or uh, or the Undying. I'm not really sure where they're going to send this Veno or uh, Undying. But I think this uh, Enigma will definitely be going into the offlane. Maybe. Or might also go to the jungle. I'm not quite sure. Uh, now for the side of the Dire. Oh, it's a little bit wonky. I think it's going to be this Lark safe lane. The Treant supporting this Lark. And then Viper mid. And then I'm... I think this Drow and this Legion are going to be going in the same lane, so this could be a 4, uh, a four Legion. I see no Quelling Blade, so yeah, probably going to be the 4 Legion. That's pretty cool. Uh, PTA is a pretty strong ability, and whenever you get your shard, it's pretty nutty. Bouncy Rooms will be spawning, though. The battle begins. Nature's Grabs gets casted, and looks like that's going to deter the Enigma from chasing any further. Huh? Oh, nice little deny of the bounty rune there from the Viper. Knew that he was going to make it in time, so it denies away the rune from the Dusa. So nicely done there. Good little deny there. Oh, so it is going to be the Enigma. Okay, so it's going to be Enigma mid. And then this Visage with the Undying over a top. And then the 5 and now supporting the Dusa. Alright, cool. Enigma core is pretty fun. Can do a lot of work. You can get, you know, you get the fast levels. You get the... That fast blink dagger, and you can have quite a bit of impact. So, and there's pretty much no actually overgrowth should uh, be able to cancel black hole if you get it. Like, uh, if you don't get caught within the black hole and you're close enough for the overgrowth, then uh, you can cancel the black hole that way. So, the Enigma will have to be wary of that. Dying might want to build uh, a few more stacks. Into the, uh, yep, into the decay before he actually starts trying to mind fight. Only has 8 strength. Oh, Slark joining into the fight. Starting to steal those SH shares. They will get the first blood onto the tree end, but it does cause the Undying his life. And now Slark chasing forward. Doesn't have a point into the pound. Still level 1. So we'll have to back away. Maybe he had the level 2. Maybe he could have gone for that kill. Maybe he went back, hit a creep. Um, and then get the level 2. Maybe could have gone for the pounds because those were a lot of essence shift that was stolen from the visage. So maybe could have like, uh, maybe, maybe could have tried to go for a goal onto this uh, visage, but I think you're quite happy with the kill onto the slug regardless. Nature's Grasp and a little bit of harass coming out. Decay is available, and this is quite a nice two man decay. I actually did not use it. I'm quite surprised that um, he didn't use the decay there, even though, yeah, sure, they're chasing you and you're trying to run away, but. Getting that two man decay is quite a bit of value and it's definitely what you be, should be striving for uh, every time you cast that decay. Obviously not possible every single time, but you know, want to be aiming for that. I haven't looked down at the bottom much, it's pretty static, I mean, like, you're not really going to kill the Dusa, and uh, Dusa's not really going to kill the Drown Ranger, Venom Man, so let's see what build. Oh, he's going for the Gale and the Poison Sting, so... You know, a lot more kill potential with this build than if uh, he went for the play war and poison sting. But we'll see if um, he keeps getting points into the poison gale and the poison sting, and uh, if he completely ignores the play war or if he goes for the one one one. It's cool. Uh, I, I like Veno. It's like you know, as you know, as many other heroes. Uh, but I think Venos is very polarizing. Uh, you know, on how you can build them. You can either go with the Plague Ward builds, like, ah, I'm not gonna kill you, but you sure as hell are not gonna touch me. Or you can go for the more aggressive build and go, go into the Gale and uh, try to get more kills that way. Let's see. Nigma pretty much has his mana boots. Gonna be able to get those. Oh, I think that could have been an attempt at a stack, uh, but didn't quite work out. A little bit unfortunate there, but definitely uh, his mind's in the right place for sure. <laughs> oh, nice little deny there. Let's see, we have Sol Ring on the Legion. Uh, I'm actually surprised uh, he's getting a point into the Moment of Courage. I mean, sh sure, I get it, you know, you want to trade uh, 
I just think this the overwhelming odds it's like so much damage like uh it's actually insane the amount of damage you can do like just level one like literally just one value point into it and since you got the soul ring you got the mana just to say in it but you know got the point into the moment of courage maybe thought uh he'll be gonna he's gonna be trading a lot more oh well, i think the undying was actually trying to pull the wave so actually uh, like another Another good idea, just, you know, a little bit late to that. Uh, it would have been nice to pull a wave, like, right in front of the tower, connect it over to this wave. And um, have the creep wave a little bit closer to your tower. You rest oh, man. That snake does not feel good. Gale? With the poison sting, but the PTA, and, yep, purge it all away. Oh, two points into the poison sting. Interesting. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying with the PCA going against the Gale, uh, or the Gale going against the PTA, like, you Gale him and you use PTAs and it's like, all gone. If this Metal Mance is able to bait out the PTA, like, uh, before the Gale comes out, that would be pretty good, you know, he PTAs and you Gale after the fact, so he has no PTA to push off that Gale. Ooh, the Gale! But yeah, immediately, like, this, yeah. Legion Commander was waiting for it. But good harass coming on through, uh, down at the bottom. I think you're quite happy about that, this Legion having to sit at, you know, almost half HP. And, oh, I oh, thought that, uh, that stake was actually gonna hit him, but did not, did not. But so far, pretty static lanes. Uh, not a lot of stuns for the side of the Radiant. Other than this uh, Enigma black hole and maybe the familiar is, uh, you know, stomping down on the ground, but not even that's not even available yet. So, no wonder we haven't seen that many kills. And also, for, even for the side of the dire, not a lot of lockdown besides from perhaps overgrowth, nature's grasp, and duel, and I guess the viper slow. But you know, not really a, uh, not really a stun per se. <laughs> Nice little soul rip there onto the tombstone there, keeping it alive for a little bit longer, juking it out with the tree and protector, but Slark is showing up with the pounds, starts stealing away those stats. One more right click should do it. Oh, 15 HP, another one. Dark Pact, pops the salve, still chasing for it. Don't think he will be able to find it. It's under the safety of his tower, Slark's gonna miss that kill. Tree and protector is here to provide a little bit of backup for the Slark, but nicely done there. Nice little salve pop there from the Undying. That, little, that last hit, leaving him at 15 HP, then popping the salve and being able to run away. Pretty poggers, pretty poggers. That Slark was thirsty for that kill, he really wanted it. Oh, nice deny there. Oh, nice pull. Nice little pull there. Connecting the small pull onto the, onto the hard pull camp there. Pretty cool. Overwhelming odds, but only level 1. Yeah. The Gale, but immediately the PTA comes out, and you know, this Legion still has the Soul Ring, so should be chilling in the mana department. Let's see, Black Hole is available. Like, uh, I honestly think it's just Undying, makes the rotation over to mid. Like, uh, they can just kill the Viper straight up, just Black Holing. Oh, but Enigma wants to make a rotation over the top, maybe thinking to go onto this Tree and Protector. Now thinking of chasing onto the Slark, but Slark's a little bit too far away. He's going to be able to back away. So an unsuccessful rotation there by the Enigma. A little bit unfortunate. It's kind of hard uh, rotating and trying to make things happen. So when you don't really have your blink on the other side of things, Decay. <sighs> With the Soul Assumption, finishing off the kill. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Hmm... Oh, actually, this Visage having a good good levels considering uh, this Slark has been, you know, getting most of the EXP. Uh, he's been getting a lot of the solo EXP here on this lane, but overall, this Visage not doing too bad. Oh, over at top, Nature's Grasp, Essence Shift. Oh, nice little Soul Rip there, healing up the Visage. Good support there from the Undying. Not bottom though, this deuce is just chilling, bro. Like, I don't... Man, I don't know what this Drow Ranger can really do against this deuce. I mean... Sure, the Drow Ranger can clear the wave, you know, every 20 seconds. But other than that, I'm not really sure how you... 
actually contest into the Dusa. And, you know, this Venomancer keeps constantly pu pulling the waves, you know, denying away some of the EXP. And this Legion Commander is not doing much about it. Sure, you have a word right here to see that it's happening, but you haven't done much to actually stop the the pulls. And, you know, like, sure, you pull one wave, it's like, all right, sure, fine. It's like you pull three waves, you know, more than that. It's like, all right, that's actually a substantial amount of uh, EXP that you're denying away. So props to the Venomancer here. Uh, I definitely think that's... You know, the reason, like, uh, part of the reason why there's such a level, you know, disparity is that this Venomancer has not really been in lane much, and, you know, he's just been pulling away, pulling the waves, getting EXP from the, from the small camps, and also denying away the EXP from the Drow Ranger, so, really, like, you know, it may not look like much, but it actually is quite a bit, so really props to this Venomancer, securing this lane for his Dusa here. Almost there onto the Blink Dagger for this Enigma, and once this uh, Enigma has Blink Dagger, it's gonna be go time. Tomb someone coming down. I think they want to chase for this tree and now that the familiars are available. Here comes the first stomp on the familiar, second one. Soul rip. And the soul assumption. Able to secure the kill. Slark trying to find something. Still starting to steal those essence shifts. But it's a little bit hard to work, a little bit far too many units trying to kind of just hitting you down. Gonna try to chase for this kill onto this undying essence shift. Oh no, the familiar stomps. Dark pack, soul assumption, not quite enough, but one more right click. Able to get the kill. Nicely done. And that's a dominating spree for this visage. Uh, this is like, sure, you get the kill onto the Undying, but I definitely don't think uh, that's a very favorable trade for for you. Uh, you know, you're much higher in levels, and I think probably a good time to switch to net worth. And I'm not sure how what was the Slark's net worth before he actually died, but I'm sure it was like either the same or like you know around about the same so not really good feeding a kill over to uh your opposition here oh blink dagger available yep tp coming black hole at the ready they see the viper they might still choose to go and yeah viper is even calling the miss they see the viper there it just grasps, Zoom Tone coming down, providing good vision. Oh, but the blink black hole only connecting through on the tree of protection. Probably wanted to hit the Slark as well. Midnight Pulse. With the familiar stomps there. Soul Assumption, but you know, the familiar, so just keep right clicking. Uh, I actually have to call this a stone form. Okay, I gotta call it, the, you know, the proper way. I keep saying stomp, but it's, you know, it's got, diff it's got an actual name. Stone form? With the soul assumption, man, <laughs> this visage is, uh, oh. oh my, 80 HP with the nature's grasp, actually almost getting him. But even though the Enigma black hole didn't quite connect on through onto the Slark as well, I think just securing the kill onto the tree and protector was good enough. You know, gave you the numbers advantage and, oh, duel onto the Dooza. I'm not sure this is the target you want to go for, especially with full mana, full health. Duration ends of the duel and we're not able to find the kill. Pounce, a little bit short, not quite able to find it there. Still trying to chase him down. Dusa is dropping quite low, doesn't have any more mana now. Under the safety of his tower, we'll be able to survive. Gale, onto the Slark, still trying to chase for this kill onto the Dusa. The right click there from the Draw Ranger will secure the kill, but it's truly will cost the Slark his life. Gonna end up going down another Poison Nova, taking onto the Draw Ranger. PTA, cast it onto him, but does not purge away. Legion Commander, gonna be okay, only has a Poison Nova on him, that don't, doesn't actually kill you, but if you got the Poison Sting on top of you with a Gale, should go down, especially with a right click from the Enigma, double kill for the Enigma, wow, what a rotation, and <laughs> dude, they actually chased that Dusa for so goddamn long, that's actually pretty funny, uh, dude, like literally from like right here, all the way to here, <laughs> Let's see. Put some pressure onto this offlane tower here. It'll be nice if uh, this Venom actually, like, you know, started spamming these. War I mean, he already is. Um, but you know, spamming more, a little bit closer to the tower, so they can actually start hitting the tower rather than hitting the the jungle. But I get it. You know, you want to clear the jungle, get a little bit of gold going your way. But this is really good. Like. You know, these wards drawing a lot of attention here, you know, you got three heroes down here to try to deal with uh, with both of the supports. All the meanwhile, the rest of the Radiant cores are just doing whatever they want, you know, hitting jungle, getting some EXP, being in lane. 
Oh, they're trying to chase for this Venomancer kill. Overwhelming odds. Duel? Gonna come through onto them and dying. Are they gonna be able to get the dual victory? They will. That's gonna be plus 10 damage for the Legion. Gale? Onto the Slug. Should be okay. Doesn't quite have the mana for the Dark Pack, but does have a stick. Yeah, we'll pop it. Another Dark Pact. Purge away some of that nasty poison he's got going on to him. Leech Seed and the Gust onto the Venomancer. Overgrowth as well. They want to secure this kill. Right clicks from the from the Drow Ranger. We'll be able to secure the kill. Pounce a little bit off the mark there, but don't really matter. Able to get the kill onto the Venomancer. So a little bit unfortunate. Uh, you know, if this Venomancer was actually set up, uh, if he had more time to set up, I definitely think this push from the Dire would have been a little bit harder. The Deuce had TPing in, popping the Stone Gaze. Die Heroes backing away, and looks like the tree on protector is gonna get left behind unless, unless he can tree walk himself out. No damage came through his way, or a little bit too late, and able to make it out. A lot of heroes down here in this bot lane. It's like the radiant. They might want to push this tower now. Now that they have almost all their numbers here, except for the Venomancer and Venomancer. So he went over to top, try to defend this pressure coming through from the Slark. Dream Protector has a nice little position here to go for a backstab, but doesn't quite have the overgrowth. Ghost? Uh, ghost. Gust? And yeah, it looks like they'll be able to claim the tower. Not much the Dyer can do about it, really. Can't really fight into the Raiding Heroes right now. They're a little bit, kind of a little bit too strong for you right now. Let's see how the Slark's doing. Go for the Echo, then the Silver. BOTs for the Venomancer, going for that greedy route. Trium Protector doing Trium Protector things, cutting the wave. Huh? But he might actually pay for it. Familiars? Oh, a little bit unfortunate there. Had to look a little bit more to the west. Oh? Slarg? Do I know to this Venomancer? But I'm not sure who's killing who, really. And I think, <laughs> yeah, sure, you got the kill onto the Slark. Oh, dude, actually, what? Dude, the Slark got 400 gold for killing the Veno, and Veno got 200 for killing Slark. And Slark's level 10. How'd that make sense? I don't know. It was probably the tower, actually. Like, I'm sure that influences the, the goal that he got, or, uh, or somehow. I, I don't know. But that was uh, that was a weird uh, gold distribution that I'm sure has. Uh, explanation still 60 minutes into the game and this uh, mid tower has not been taken the rating like considering the advantage they have the uh, the dire have a lot of structures remaining for sure and it's kind of funny how the first tower they take is probably like the hardest tower to take like probably top and middle a little bit easier than the bottom one imo let's see going for that manta Got that echo completed. Atos. Then Blade Mill for this Undying. BKB. Yep. Hmm. Gale yeah, onto the Viper. But not much gonna come of it. Oh, this Venomancer now has BOT, so he's gonna pretty much gonna, gonna be everywhere in the map. Uh, I'd actually like to see him team. Well, maybe not now. Maybe it's a little bit too late now, but would have been nice for him to actually have set up all his offensive wards down here to defend the safe lane tower. I want to keep that alive as long as possible, if possible. Ooh, Philosopher's Stone. That's a nice little item there for either the Undying or the, or the Venomancer there. Oh, they're starting to make it go onto this Slark. Stone Gaze? Oh no, Slark got stoned while he was in this uh, Shadow Dance. Decay? Pop in the Dark Pack. But looks like he's gonna be okay. We'll be able to make it out. Overgrowth with the nature's grasp. Do that with not a lot of mana to work with. He's starting to drop pretty low, and then the toxin as well on top of it. But looks like the she's gonna be able to make it out into the trees on dying. We'll play with this life to try to draw some of this aggro away from this Dusa. And looks like he was gonna make it out. Dusa getting a little cheeky. He's starting to right click the Slark. No has the support of the uh, of the Enigma there. And also the zombies preventing a good bit of vision. Really nicely done there by the Dusa. Uh, he must have seen uh, he must have seen the Enigma coming in uh, for the TP. Even I didn't see him coming in. So 
good either keeping an eye on the Enigma and you know recognizing that uh, this is actually a kill onto this Lark. Regardless of how low he is, that's gonna get dewarded. Radiance top tower is under attack. Let's see, Dragon Lands. Still no blink yet. A little bit unfortunate. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. You know, this Drow was already struggling. Like, uh, and yeah. <laughs> I actually denied it. I actually managed to deny it. <laughs> All right, all right. You know, made a mistake by planning the ward within the vision of the outpost, but you know, denied the ward. So you know, at least he redeemed himself. A lot of radiant heroes down here. These uh, these dire heroes definitely need to be careful. Slark, I'm trying to poke away at this venom answer, but might need to be careful. Does have the haste. But it's coming on to an end now, and then the gale onto the draw ranger. Nice little PTA Persian away. Slark jumping back in, but immediately popping the dark the shadow dance. Trying to use the dark pact. Purge away some of the stuff. Soul Assumption. Ooh, with the PTA, keeping him alive. Poison Nova is still taking on to him. Trying to chase for this Legion kill. Overwhelming odds available. PTA, one more second. Has it. Gonna be able to use his Soul Assumption. Ah, able to chase him out. A little bit unfortunate. Just familiar to staying right on top of this legion, providing that vision, and you know, this visage just waits for his next soul assumption and just casts it as a vision. Thanks to his familiars. Midnight Pulse? With the Malefice. Dark Pact away. Oh, Shadow Dance. Don't cool down for another 9 seconds. Stone Forms. With the Gales. Another Shadow Pact. Ends up going down regardless. I'm actually almost kited long enough for a Shadow Dance to come back off cooldown, but... Ah, oh, man. Just getting caught in the... Getting caught in No Man's Land, really. Like, uh... Slark doesn't really have a lot of business being down here. Like, I get it, this Slark's trying to fight. Like, you know, you're not really gonna get back into this game, like... By farming away. I think the lead's a little bit too... Too much, and, uh... The rating have, uh... Better team fight, so it's a little bit hard to come back into the game by fighting. But I definitely don't think you're gonna come back into the game by farming. But it's just that you know, this viper's just chilling in the jungle and while this lark's trying to farm. Like, uh, not a lot of coordination going on. Illusion rune by the Enigma. Let's see if he's able to bait out something. With these illusions, but. It's like so far not. Oh, well, that's a nice little pupil's gift that this enigma could deny. Oh, hey, right. bait out the overgrowth value. Oh, looks like the train protector did pick up the pupil's gift in the end. Oh no, slug, not again. Dark pack, but the mystic snake. Oh, the decay, able to secure the kill there. And uh, that's another death on this slug. Just, you know. Trying a little bit too hard to uh, try to go for the skills or those pickoffs when doesn't really have the farm nor the levels to actually try to go for this place. A little bit unfortunate. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ooh, orchid for this visage. That's gonna be quite nice for him. Oh, Atos onto the Venomancer. Nair talks are coming down, so it's a poison at poison attack, but blink black hole onto two. Those two are dead. Oh, Viper Strike. Yeah, keep forgetting that. And now they're gonna push onto this mid tower. You're able to clean this up. Dude's uh, also pushing down to the spot. I don't like. Yeah, I guess there's not <laughs> there's not really much the Dyer can really do about it. And now some of these raiding heroes are also connecting to this Dusa. It would have been nice, like um, while some of the raiding heroes were hitting this mid tower, maybe they could have made it go onto this Dusa. But this Dusa is level 15, and uh, yeah, your core. I mean. 
I guess, yeah, all your cores are really struggling. You're not, not really doing the greatest. Like, Trial Ranger didn't have the greatest lane. Dark didn't have the greatest lane. And the only one that had, like, an okay lane was this Viper. But Viper wasn't quite able to snowball as much as he probably would have liked, you know, getting kills here and there and stuff like that. Oh, starting to go into this Visage. No Gust casted yet. Surprising. There goes the cast. Dark Pact. Three more right clicks. Should be able to secure the kill onto the Visage. And that's a nice little bounty there going the way of the Slark. 700 gold. So, alright, alright. Some signs of life for the side of the Dire. Not completely over yet. The Radiant are, are bound for mistakes, you know. Nobody's perfect. Uh, Atos almost has a blade mount. It's gonna be nice for him. I wonder if this visage is actually gonna go for the axe after he has his um, orchid, or if he's gonna go for something else. Agonist for the Enigma. Well, on the Metal Master. Amplify some of that magic damage coming out through a meme, <laughs> a meme hammer for the Trion Protector. Like, just basically all this Trion has been doing, just like. Splitting ways, use a meme hammer, nature's grasp, yada yada yada. Uh, it's actually kind of crazy, like I actually didn't know that uh, nature's grasp also slows down the familiars, like you know. Interesting interaction even though they're birds. They get slowed down by uh, obstacles on the ground. Oh, it's like trying to make a goal into this deuce on the triangle but do so with the split shot, revealing they had, uh, she had a sentry there and could see the Slark. So far, I'm both seeing just kind of chilling. It'd actually be nice for this Undying to have this, um, you have the Philosopher's Stone now, like, uh, you know, right now that you're chilling, not really doing much, and then switch it out in between the fights. Uh, it could be nice. I definitely think that extra bit of gold, this uh, extra GPM is quite nice. Uh -huh. Atos onto the Venom Answer, but I think this is all bait. Yup, this is all bait. Are you gonna get the dual victory? Yes, Venom Answer gets a dual victory with the black hole there. Viper dropping pretty low, zombies starting to whack away at all the enemy heroes. Yeah, <laughs> such bait. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, man, Venom Master actually they did find the kill onto the Venom Master, so I guess that's something. But you do lose uh, two of your cores and one support, so that's not too good. But man, like <laughs> a little bit too antsy there, a little bit too antsy. Not really knowing what's behind the Venom Master. Like, I get it, you know, you see a random Venom Master, you know, just being all aggro, it's like. What is this guy on about? Is he crazy? Let's kill him. But the rest of his team is there with him. Easy three man black hole and the rest is history. Oh, huh? Slark pouncing onto the visage. Okay. Shadow Dance. Still clicking away at the visage. Find a kill onto the visage. Poison Nova. Oh, PTA. Actually keeping the Slark alive. However. Green Protector did have to pay with his life there. But honestly, I think that's a pretty good trade overall. Like, um, that's a pretty good kill there for the Slark. Getting the kill onto the uh, Visage. Even though you lose the Tree and Protector, I think you're actually not too sad about it. Viper. Well, you and die. Viper Strike. But, you know, with this Blade Mail, it sure hurts a lot. Overwhelming. Oh, it's going to secure the kill. Jar Ranger getting the kill onto this Enigma as well. Man, what are these fights? Slark is starting to man fight onto this Dusa. Duel coming through on the other side. Venomancer. Ooh, almost gets a dual victory. Not quite able to. Slark did end up going down trying to man fight this Dusa. Dusa starting to focus down this Legion Commander. The Familiar is chasing out. <laughs> Dusa and Driver, and you start to duke it out. But, you know, Trium Protectors has shown up to the fight. Provide some support for the Driver Ranger, and Dusa will end up going down. Man, what a, like, what a random, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of things happening that fight. Very, you know, Visage dies, they back away, then Viper comes in, Viper starts fighting, Viper dies, and the rest of the team starts fighting. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty weird fight, pretty weird fight, but nice little skirmish going on. And yeah, Axe for this Visage. Like, Axe is pretty, pretty good, pretty good. 
Let's see, axe almost there. Mm, Manta Shadow Blade Dragon. Oh, Greaves, that's nice. Going for the BKB after the fact. Illusion. Silver Age completed for this Lark. Alright, alright, alright. Going for the BKB next. Going for the mechanism, probably will be going for the uh, Greaves on the Undying. What's happening? Oh, okay, I thought I bugged out for a second, but I was just a bit just like, you know, doing some shopping or uh, teleporting a neutral, uh, <laughs> a neutral item onto the shop. Got a little bit confused there. Huh? Do so. Starting to get going on. Pounds, popping the Manta and the Stone Gaze. Nigma is in the vicinity and does have the Black Hole available. The Stone Gaze doing quite a bit of work. Gonna end up getting the kill until the tree and protector midnight pulse getting casted down. Slark trying to juke away. Does have the park deck pack available now. Silver Edge. Woo! Able to dodge out that uh, mystic snake there. Otherwise, I think that would have been deadly. Oh, and now, now Dusa has axe, dude. This mystic snake's gonna stone you as well. Yikes. <laughs> That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Waiting for the stack? No? Oh. Oh. Alright. I thought he was actually waiting for the stack and I'm like, wow, player, you know, stacking. No. Unfortunate. Let's see. Close to the BKB. I was a valiant attempt by the Slark and the, and the tree and protector. Like, you know, you see the Dusa down here pushing all by her loans himself. Like, um, you know, she could be alone, she could also not be alone. Kind of have to take the gamble, and uh, gamble did not quite end up working out. But I definitely think they got the right idea. Uh, you know, trying to go for these pickoffs on the side. You know, try to get a man advantage and then uh, go for a fight, something like that. No, oh, over the top, over, overgrowth. We'll do multi shots, undying, and end up going down. Tree and protector dropping pretty low, but we'll be able to back away the tombstone though. Doing a good bit of work. Those zombies. Oh, the PTA. With the duel, stone gaze. With the gust, ah, oh, but here comes a black hole. Oh, they actually do get the kill onto the Dusa, but black hole sure will finish off the rest of the enemy heroes and dream protector. Just too low of an HP ends up going down. Wow, what a what a long fight. But it's crazy, it, dude. It's crazy. Like uh, this Enigma hero is such a crazy hero. Like you can show up so late to the fights and you're still gonna win the fight. It's actually kind of crazy. But all right, all right. Dire signs some show, uh, showing some signs of life. Not completely out of it yet, even though it's a 7K net worth lead. But they will have to. <laughs> they will have to dress as Enigma as the gate. You know, as the game progresses, this Enigma is only going to get stronger and stronger. With the double black hole. Definitely going to be an issue. Uh, they do have some good ways of trying to find this... Um, this Enigma, you know, you have this Lark um, with the Silver Edge, with the movement bonus movement speed from uh, his Shadow Dance. Also, this Dry Ranger has um, has a Shadow Blade, so you do have some ways of trying to find this Enigma, but it's, it's still kind of hard. Um, Gus doesn't quite fly anymore. Uh, Enigma has a BKB, so if, you try to, if this Dry Ranger tries to go in this Enigma, then we can just pop the BKB and just black hole. So it's a little bit it's a little bit hard, but I definitely think it's doable. Nothing in this life is impossible, my friends. Scotty, then Shard. Let's see. Going for the Greaves. Alright, alright. 50 seconds on Black Hole. Oh, has the axe completed? So. Okay, word. So, yeah, in invisibility and you gain flying, bonus movement speed, and more damage while you're invisible. Pretty good. Gale? Onto the tree and protector, but should be okay. How's the shard now? So, it's invisible in his uh, nature's guys. Vitamins are also having the shard. Quite nice. Whenever you get hit the Gale, you get 
three little plague wars on top of the target that you hit. Okay, pretty handy. Oh. But Tain is starting to make a go. Onto the bottom. Duel. Onto the Venom Man, so they want to finish out the kill. No. Oh, Black Hole is available. I'm not sure if he actually had it right off the get-go, but two heroes are definitely gone, so. Oh, silence. And able to find the kill regardless. Green Protector. Dropping low. Starting to get chased out, but. The Grave. Onto the Viper. Viper Strike. Onto the Visage. Trying to turn around and fight, but the Soul Assumption and the ever of enemy heroes. Clicking away at this Viper, able to get the kill. On the other side of things, this Undying was able to chase out the Stream Protector. And with the Grief Seal, should be all okay. Uh, actually, I apologize. I'm actually going to rewind for a second. I actually want to see if... Oh no, I, how I messed up. No, I haven't. Uh, a few more seconds. Oh, okay. So they didn't have it. Okay, okay. Because I was a little bit curious on why the Enigma didn't use it straight away, but he didn't actually have it straight away. Like, he had the black hole, like, literally as the uh, Venomancer was dying. So a little bit unfortunate there. Oh, nice decay snipe there from the from the Undying. Didn't quite catch that beforehand. But yeah, pretty nice fight for the side of the Radiant. Uh, asserting their dominance once again. It's a little bit unfortunate because I, I definitely think the Dyer have the right ideas. They just don't, you know, they don't always have everyone there or um, or they just don't have the vision, you know, like the the Radiance saw everything coming with this uh, with this ward right here in the sentry down in the low ground. Got vision of the Slark, you know, coming down into the bot. Same thing for the Legion. We weren't quite able to find a nice little dual victory onto this Venom Man. So definitely the right idea, but... Like, you know, you need a little bit more vision uh, around the enemy jungle and also like uh, if you're gonna be making aggressive moves like that, maybe try to smoke up for that. I'm not sure if you actually have any smokes available, I can't really see, so. But I don't see any smokes on any of the heroes, so I'm guessing there are some smokes available. Scotty completed, coming for the shard now. This Dusa is looking mighty scary. Oh, Atos, whoo! That travel time. Oh. Oh, over at top. They've isolated the Dusa. Dusa gonna pop the stone gaze. Everyone turning around. Venomancer, beautying in. Wants to provide a little bit of backup for his Dusa. Poison Nova coming on through. Starting to steal away at the stats. Now be able to get the kill into the Dusa. Now Venomancer will also pay with his life. Nicely done there. Able to find out this do so by your lonesome himself. Dusa farming out a little bit too far out and uh, good moves from the Dire. Like uh, recognizing that the rest of his team is pretty far away from him. The Dusa is all all by herself. So this was going to kill her. And also get a nice little tasty treat on top of that with the Venom Master BOTing in. Try to help out the Dusa. Valiant attempt, but just one too many heroes in the vicinity. Even though they're AK down, still. 5v2, <laughs> still pretty goddamn good. Nice scan there from the Radiant. Aware that this is going down. Familiars? Stone form? What? Man, what a black hole. Dude, like, it's actually insane. Like, uh,. Really nice black hole by this Enigma, uh, but uh, really nicely done by the Visage, uh, sending the familiars in and uh, stone forming them on like you know right on right on the right on the right heroes, providing the vision for the Enigma to just come in and just black hole and man like whew, that's that's wild that's wild uh, that's um. Pretty big desperation moment for the radiant. I mean, for the radiant, for the dire, to uh, to try to go for the the roach like that, like uh, fighting around the pit versus uh, versus the black hole. Not the greatest idea. Huh? It's like was able to find the kill onto the venom answer down here at the bot. Nice little pick off for him, but definitely not good. Uh, giving up Aegis here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 
I like the fact that they gave it to the Visage because I don't like, you know, if Zeus is surrounded by her teammates, like, you know, she has her team around her. I really don't think she's dying. And, uh, you know, you want to keep this Visage alive. So he's pumping out quite a bit of damage. Slark going on to the Visage, popping the BKB. Starting to get Scotty hit. Does have 20 essence shift stacks. Now popping the Shadow Dance overgrowth. Onto the Dusa. Dusa still has the stone gaze. Nice little target switch there from the Slark onto the Enigma. Able to find the kill there. Duel coming on through. Oh, not quite able to find the duel victory. That's going to be two deaths for the Visage there. Dusa. Now trying to go 1v3, but the Slark. <laughs> Dude, this Slark was clicking so much bro 51 essence shift stacks i think before you even came into the fight you already had 20 from actually killing the venomancer there that was that was pretty crazy that was a pretty crazy fight and uh that was really like well done but it's like like uh switching targets like you know this visage and this uh do so a little bit slippery a little bit hard to like um either either they're like maybe not the do so but this is a little bit slippery and kind of hard to kill uh, but yeah, I really like the fact that the Slark switched over to the target, so the Enigma, you know, deny away, like, no black hole, make sure no black hole is, uh, bound to come through, and, uh, mess up your day. Ooh, pounce, close, almost find the Venomancer there. Let's see, Drive Ranger, what did they do us, huh? Able to find the Venomancer there, nice little pickoff. I hope to find the pounds. 70 seconds on the dead on the sidelines for this Venomancer. Mm, I'm not sure you can actually push the high ground, but they might actually try to force it. Stark has a ton of uh, essence shift stacks. Has a plus 65 seconds on the essence shift talent as well, so pretty goddamn good. But yeah, they will be backing away. A little bit too sketchy. Pushing until the high ground with, you know, just three heroes while your dry range is fine in the jungle. But alright, alright. The dire sh again showing signs of life. That was a pretty big fight that they just took. But you know, uh, it, it is one thing to note that uh dire the radiant did fight that fight without black hole. So now that they have black hole available, if they're able to get that off. Things, uh, things will start reminiscing <laughs> to what was happening a few minutes ago. I'm actually surprised this Legion went for Desolator. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, want to decrease that uh, minus armor, start uh, amplifying them, that uh, physical damage, why not? Oh, it's like, starting to go into this Visage, popping the BKB as well. Getting those basher hits, able to secure the kill, nicely done there. But, yep, playing black hole. There's a dead slark. He's gonna refresh for you, boy. Huh? Actually, it doesn't refresh for this slark. Oh, I actually thought this enigma was gonna refresh, um, refresh, refresh black hole in order to secure the kill onto the slark. But that slark can now come back in and reinitiate duel onto the undying. Not quite able to find it. Now, the bashes. Oh, but able to find black hole now. Putting the midnight pulse as well on top of it. Oh man, that was actually so close. If this Enigma doesn't actually get the black hole during that fight, that's uh, that, I definitely don't think they win in that fight. Viper popping the BKB with the Viper Strike, able to find the kill onto this Venomancer. Oh no, Viper hitting onto the Manta, but that's not the right, that's not the right do so my guy. And slowly but surely he'll be whittled away and brought down. Man, that was uh, that was really cool for the for the dire. It was like that was, that was actually almost like another fight that they won. Um, it was good that this lark switched targets onto this uh, enigma and try to focus him down. Like I think this enigma dropped down to like you know for like 300 HP something like that, and even got bashed as he was about to cast the black hole, but managed to uh, cast a midnight pulse in the black hole on top of that, and you know star gets caught in that bit. But I like uh, I like where this Slark's mind is at. Like uh, definitely need to start focusing this Enigma. You can't let these black holes go off. That fight without black hole definitely I definitely think it goes on the side of the dire for sure. There that Slark has quite a few essence shifts built up.
That's a lot of idle on two. I think he's got the talent. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Pushing down bottom. He's all alone, but, you know, only the drive ranger and the tree available, but I definitely think they could probably make a go onto this Dusa. Drive ranger with a shadow blade. Creeping about Gust. Dusa still has a Manta. The rest of the dire heroes are coming up. Drive ranger maybe getting elevated in a little bit too long. Duel? Able to get the fine duel to victory? Yes, sir. Very much need a dual damage here for the Legion. And yeah, once again, this Dusa just pushing out a little bit too far out, you know, like... I understand, you know, you want to push the lanes as much as possible, farm up the side lanes, uh, but... Like, you know, you can <laughs> Sure, this Drive Ranger was like a joke back then, but like, you know, she's just been hitting the jungle for so long. And now she ain't, uh, she ain't the joke no more. She actually starts dealing a little bit more damage. And, you know, with combination of, with this tree and protector, or, you know, plus one. Definitely able to find the kill there, as shown previously. BKB starting to go into this Venomancer. But the Trickster Cloak. Now, switching targets onto you and dying. And dying, popping the blade mail. Starting to back away. Uh-oh, Slark in a little bit of trouble. Has a dark pact. Still choosing not to use it. Oh, still in stats. Able to find the kill, but that's gonna be the first life for the Undying. Oh, Shadow Blade, but they have a shit. No way. No, don't walk that way. Ends up going down. <laughs> I actually want to see how they kill the Drow Ranger on the other side of things, but that whole Slack Death was pretty goddamn funny. That was, uh, that was a valiant attempt to try and get some kills there. Oh. Drive Ranger, glad to see someone's playing objective gaming, but Stone Form and Link Black Hole. Goodbye, Bowie. Not sure that was needed, but uh, maybe yes. I mean, the, the Legion Commander, Tree and Protector were in the vicinity, so better be safe than sorry. Pop the Black Hole, get the kill, get out. And then on the other side of things, Lark did get found out. It was the one with the dust. Oh, the Visage player. Yeah, if the Visage actually didn't bring Dust during that fight, the, the Slug actually would have survived there, so props to the Visage, well done. For being a team player and bringing Vision into the fights. Oh, GG for the, for the Legion. Smoke coming on through from the side of the Radiant. Ooh, if I find this Viper, this could be a nice target. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trickster Cloak? Where's the detection, boys? Pops the BKB. Blink black hole. Goodbye, Viper. Viper strike onto this enigma, but Let's see. Go for the IC Ocarine. All right. Now starting to push, let's see, Roshan might spawn in another 7 seconds. We just have to see... I mean, the Undying is the only one that's actually walking up the high ground. Same thing for the Venomancer, the rest of the heroes are just backing away and now Duel, Link Duel, onto the Undying. Legion dropping pretty low, not able to find the Duel victory. It does end up going down unfortunately though. Drow TPing in with the multi-shot. Oh, not quite able to find the kill until and dying. Oh, yes, they will. Stone form though onto this Drow Ranger locking here into place. Ends up going down and <laughs> Trium Protector also pops down to the poison. Fortifications coming on through, but not sure how much uh, these are gonna do for you. Lark is back alive, but I'm not sure he can actually defend always and by himself. Uh, I'm really surprised. Like, these raiding heroes are not hitting towers, bro. Like, Dude, the only one that's alive is Slark. Like, uh... Roshan is, a, is alive, but... I... Guess you just wanna do Roche while uh, everyone else is dead? Okay. I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't even think they all need to be dead for do to be doing Roche, because, you know... You have Black Hole, and they really can't fight into you with, uh... 
in the pit with Black Hole and Dusa. That's supposed to be trying to push these racks, but in a 1v1 against this Lark, it's a little bit sketchy. Doesn't have the essence shift, but you know, this Lark keeps like poking and prodding, re engaging, and uh, going in and out, in and out. Uh, this is definitely something that favors this Lark, but oh my god, 77 HP able to survive. And now he can actually reinitiate, you know, he gets a little bit of HP back, gets a silver edge, he can go back in, right back into this Dusa. Oh, gets hit by the Potion Nova. Gonna start going on to this Venomancer. Oh, find a kill. Oh, dude, that's... Dude, that Misty Snake Axe is actually so dirty. Dude, this fight has been going on for so long. Blank Black Hole, Midnight Pulse onto this uh, Trium Protector. And the Viper. Oh, the Viper was there as well. I didn't see him because of the Trickster Cloak. And, yeah. Duel onto the Dusa. Uh, actually, getting the dual victory. Poggers. <laughs> Black Hole onto this uh, Draw Ranger, Draw Ranger. Gone. Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I mean, I don't know what this Trium Protector is doing, like, yeah, bro. Like, you, you, you can't defend this, like, there's not much you can do about it. And yeah, I think this is GG. Uh, yeah. Guillotine in. Time to put this plus play words and starting to hit this tier force. Man, what a game. Pretty wonky. Draft from the side of the Dire, I definitely think their draft did not do him any favors. They had some, I think they had like uh, some like good ideas on like how to get back into this game throughout the game, you know, trying to go for the fights and things like that. Just weren't quite uh, on the same page, uh, everyone. Like, it's a shame because, you know, if they, they've gotten their stuff together you know, for, you know, not cursing, uh, a little bit earlier, they, I definitely think they would have had a much better chance, but, you know, they only started like, like uh, organizing themselves until like much later into the game when it was like, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. It's just a little bit too hard now. Uh, it's definitely doable. It's just a little bit too hard, and they weren't quite able to mount the comeback. It would have been cool to see a little bit more retaliation um, from the side of the Dire. And even though this Slug didn't have that great of a game, you know, he was dying early on, making some questionable plays uh, early on into the game. I think that, uh, he it also made him look bad because his team wasn't quite there with him or... He wasn't there with his team, you know, whatever, however you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, it was a little, little bit unfortunate that they're quite able to organize themselves earlier onto the game. Because I definitely, even though they had a wonky ass draft, I definitely think they would have uh, been able to have a much better chance. Uh, but yeah, a little bit unfortunate, but really well played here by the side of the Radiant. This, uh, <laughs> these, um, this visage and this undying are really doing uh, really doing a lot of work this game. It was cool to see. I don't see a lot of undying, especially for replays that I sent to me. So really cool to see. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to support the channel any way you can, whether that's subscribing, liking the video, or sharing with your friends, whoever it is, your grandma, your girlfriend, unborn child. It doesn't matter. A views of you. However, if you're not bothered, the mere fact you watch this video is good enough for me. Almost forgot that part. Thank you so much, guys, and have a nice day. Peace out.